In the late 50s, there was a, uh, a master transportation plan done for the Calgary region, and that master plan showed a, a ring road around the city. In general, one might say that the ring road has moved outwards with time as the city has expanded. But once the transportation and utility corridor was fixed in the early 1970s, then the alignment of the freeway was really set at that time. It's been a long time in uh, between concept and realization. Over the years, the governments have uh, accumulated land, set it aside, and uh, retained that corridor so the road could be built today. I think it's a testimony to the vision that uh, Calgary pioneers had and early, earlier Calgarians had to say this city is something special, it's going to grow, it's uh, going to become more and more important and we need to plan for it. Calgary is a hub for trucking for all of Western Canada. The Trans-Canada Highway passes right through Calgary on 16th Avenue. Uh, not an ideal place for the most important highway in Canada. So the Ring Road will allow trucks, for example, to divert around from 16th Avenue as they have in the past and uh, avoid mixing with uh, local urban traffic. The actual construction period, uh, active construction period goes to the 90s when work began on the uh, Northwest Ring Road. The roadblocks are always money. When the revenue goes through the floor, then the building slows down, and when the next uh, cycle of uh, high cycle comes, then there's more money available, and governments have traditionally gotten busy then and tried to make hay while the sun shines. So, so that's been a challenge, is the, the start and stop nature of the provincial revenue stream. Very shortly, it will extend from the Trans-Canada Highway in the west around the city in the northwest, northeast, on the east side and the southeast along the alignment of Highway 22X, which will become Stony Trail. And there it ends. The missing piece of the puzzle is the southwest uh, quadrant. And what will it take? Well, uh, hopefully fair ne negotiations in terms of acquiring the right-of-way for the southwest ring road. There is a vision to have the southwest uh, portion of the Ring Road uh, across land that is uh, currently uh, belongs to uh, the people of the Satina Nation. Uh, so at some point in the future, uh, we, we hope to come to an agreement with them or, and, and uh, have some type of an arrangement that they can support where uh, uh, we can take it from a horseshoe road to a ring road. Uh, and if we don't, I guess the only all the other alternative is to go all the way on, out on Highway 22 to Bragg Creek and up. The need is more than ever because the city's gone from a population of a little over 130,000, I think, in the uh, late 50s to 1.2 million today. One of my favorite sayings is you can always make more money and you can always make more friends, but you can never make more time. And, and that's what the Ring Road's about, is uh, giving Calgarians uh, and Albertans uh, an opportunity to save that valuable time and get where they're going faster so that they can spend the other part of their life doing other things.